TF investigators are still questioning parents and witnesses regarding allegations of misconduct at a local daycare. This probe comes after the parents of a three-year-old girl claimed another child touched their daughter inappropriately. The blurry security camera video raises questions about supervision and the child's behavior. We brought this story to you first last night. Our Ken Amaro has a follow-up report. That's correct, Anthony. Tonight we're learning more about the daycare facility. Also, I spoke with a child psychologist who reviewed the video, and while he did not directly address the allegations, he did say the video shows a sign of a potential problem. Before this recent complaint, St. Stephen Learning Care has had a few problems with DCF. In 2015, it was written up for the improper transportation of children and for inappropriate methods of discipline and for its teacher to student ratio. Big bag. And now a complaint involving this three year old. She attended the daycare until this week when her parents withdrew her. Her parents say it appears she was touched inappropriately by a boy. They're convinced that this is what they see in this security camera video. You can't leave children alone, never, especially in a daycare facility. That's your job to protect these children and to keep them safe. Two teams from DCF, Child Protective Investigations and Child Care Regulations, are now investigating the parents' allegations. It's certain to be a difficult situation for both families. Dr. Max Horowitz, a child psychologist with Keystone Behavioral Pediatrics, has done some work in childhood behaviors. Behaviors that are might be considered inappropriate uh, are definitely very frequent in young Within children. Horowitz watched the two-minute security camera video. Now obviously it's um, concerning. He could not say if there was good touch or bad. But he says the video raises some questions. Was the child playing or was he acting out? Um, this is most likely something that either he's seen somewhere, whether it's something that he's seen in person or something that he's seen you know, on TV, in a movie, in a magazine somewhere. Um, who knows where that would have been? Um, but it, this is most likely something that he's seen and he's just kind of acting out. Now, today I spoke with the parent of the boy. She says the allegations are simply not true. She was very emphatic. She told me the two kids were wrestling. When her son stood up to pull up his pants, she says it was because he was not wearing a belt and it fell down. She says her family is having a difficult time dealing with this issue. Now, DCF has 60 days to complete its investigations. Back to you. Sure, right, that Ken. is.